why are we gathered here? Yeah, I bet you're wondering why I brought you here. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's nice to have you here. I just got word from our friends at BFG slash Michelin. What? Yes, that we have been sponsored for another cheap, I'm going to say, vehicle series. You know how we did uh, our To Hell and Back series, No Payment Needed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where it we was really successful. Yeah, where we drove, uh, you know, three trucks from here to Moab and then took them on Hell's Revenge. Uh, and then uh, brought them back, and we each got $5,000. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I have come bearing gifts. What is that? Uh, envelope. N's for you, T's for you, and A's for you. Sweet. Open them up, boys. Okay. Open them up. This does not feel like $5,000. It is not, indeed. This, this, this feels a lot less than that. This feels like less than that. <laughs> it's more than a few bachelors ago. Ooh. I felt that. Oh! oh, oh. Andre Blackhawk. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Vegas! Uh, Vegas, baby! Tommy, Blackhawk's a place where you gamble. Yep, yep, I got okay. it, I got it, yep. All right, couple rules. The money has to be spent on vehicles. Well, All right? How much is it? <laughs> well, we're calling this new series uh, for a few bucks less. And you know, five thousand was good, but not challenging enough. So this is twenty five hundred bucks. Exactly. For twenty five, you get twenty five hundred dollars to each go out and buy a vehicle. All right. Don't okay. tell each other what those vehicles are. Okay. It could be a truck. It could be a car. It could be anything you want. And this be? Yes. But here are the rules. Okay. Here are the rules. It's going to have to make it from here, on the highway, over a very difficult mountain pass to tell your ride. Okay. Then we're going to take those vehicles over. The most classic, the most spectacular, the one pass in Colorado that has it all. I'm talking about a water crossing, I'm talking about mountains, I'm talking about ghost towns, I'm talking about high altitude, everything. I'm talking about Imaging Pass. I thought you were talking about Colfax Avenue. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Colfax. Right a couple ground rules, okay? Obviously, you gotta spend it all. Um, so use them, Ooh. yeah, yeah. And, and what I mean, all on the vehicle, not on, you know, so, but a thousand can... on coffee and then the rest, you know. <laughs> but, Vegas is but I can buy like a $2,000 vehicle and, and fix it up? You could, $500? Yes. You could. Okay. But I, I would suggest that, you know, what we don't want is, you know, something that uh, you're going to have to fix up for 500 but it's actually going to be a whole entire transmission for 2000 So yeah. be careful with that, all right? I would suggest that it drives. You know, it shifts, okay. uh, it starts up, and you know, as a bonus, maybe since it's the summertime, it has like air conditioning and potentially a heater that works. But it has to be a world legal and a world worthy. Yeah, and, uh, more rules. Uh, okay. We don't want, we want a, a clean title. Okay. okay. So it's got to be safe. And our friends at BFG are going to provide you with new tires. Oh, so if it's, got, if it's got bad tires, yeah. don't worry about it. Okay. The most important thing you can do, seriously, more important than a lift, more important than lockers, more important than ground clearance, is where the tire hits the road. So we're going to get off-roady tires. So up to the ground rule, you got to buy the car this week. So you got you got exactly, what is it now, three days to go buy the vehicle? Uh, uh, and then we're going to reconvene at the track where you're all going to see, and you can't tell each other what you're buying. Uh, no bohunkas, Andre, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> that would blow the budget, <laughs> in case you're wondering. It, it, it will blow the budget, yes. Uh, but otherwise, you know, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace is your friend. Go at it, gentlemen. All so, right. How much you want for that old Volkswagen? <laughs> <laughs> Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, I don't care, but you got to go over Mountain Pass. Mountain Pass, so yeah, yeah I'm thinking four-wheel drive. we got to make it rain now. <laughs> make it rain, make it rain. You go. Oh, there it goes! I'm oh, really you're really bad at this. You suck at making it rain, dude. Uh, I've never done that. <laughs> well, this is really bad. I but, can't do it with my hands. Nathan, no Nathan you said I couldn't do it, but yeah. but you couldn't do it either. Don't, don't make sure it's with mine. Hey guys, welcome to IMI Motorsports. And as you remember, a couple days ago, I gave the boys $2,500 to go and buy a vehicle for a few bucks less. <laughs> So let's see what Andres pulled up with. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, Rowan. Andre, looks to me like you bought a Ford. No, I bought a very reliable Japanese pickup. What's that bad say? Uh, Mazda. This is a Mazda truck. No, it's not. Uh, it's a Ford. It's a, it's a Ford Ranger, Andre, in Mazda sheep's clothing. Why don't you pop the hood? He's such a Ford fanboy. You know he's got a Ford. 
and he buys a Ford. I should have no. figured. Open it up, would you? It's not a Ford, dude. It's, it's the best of all worlds. It's a Ford, dude. It's, 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 it's a it's, Ford Ranger. It's, it's really awesome. What, what, what does that say, Andre? Right there, what does that say? Uh, that's nothing. That's, that says Ford, Andre. Ford, see Ford. Uh, okay. I, I do like the push bar, though. But, dude, listen to this, okay? Four wheel drive. I think everything works. I mean, I tested four wheel drive as much as I could in the city. And twenty five hundred dollars. I'm I'm kind of impressed, actually. Is it stinky? No. Is it manual? Uh, yes, it's a manual transmission. Does everything work? No. <laughs> All right. What well, doesn't work? Do you, what do you notice about the wipers? The wipers are kind of stuck in a weird position, Andre. Well, they're always there. <laughs> All right. So you bought a. Ranger without wipers. Luckily, it doesn't rain too much here in Colorado. <laughs> what else doesn't work? It's very loud. The tires are cupped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So I was looking and looking now at Mazda trucks, and I found this four-wheel drive one. Um, it's listed at three thousand bucks. It's a '94, and I, I'm really excited because four-wheel drive is going to be huge for me. So let's go take a look. Look at it, it's a B4000. It's basically underneath the skin, it's basically a Ford Ranger. Extended cab, little shell. The tires are kind of shot. Okay, and they're a little bit cupped. The owner just gave me the key. Let's do a first start. Okay, manual transmission, basically five speed. With reverse, of course, here. The fifth is overdrive. Uh, let me fire this up 182,000 miles and look it starts right up of course it's a hot day um, no air messages or lights that's already a good sign the window windshield wipers are stuck up uh, look at the uh, interior here um, this this headliner it's probably seen better days but you know what i don't care about this this could be a really good truck if it drives well let's see let's check the oil okay so the first of all i'm checking for color uh it's not too dark seems okay now i want to check for level it looks a little low i'll probably have to change oil well, this is interesting. There is a little bit of a hose spliced in here. This could be part of the AC system, and he said AC is not working. Okay, a brake fluid. Check that. Uh, it's okay. I can't quite see it all the way, but it's there, and it's okay. I mean, as far as level is okay. Condition of the brake fluid, I cannot quite tell. Costco battery, some corrosion, but it starts right up. So let's take it for a drive. Let me pull away, and I also need to check the four-wheel drive. I can hear tire noise, for sure, and there may be an alignment problem, because I can feel a slight tire vibration and they're cupped. So I don't know what that is about, but... It's probably some sort of a suspension issue. Let me get it to higher speeds. I think it will make it to uh, Telluride. I mean, that's my first take on it. It seems like it's rolling quite okay. Check this. stop right here I'm gonna engage four-wheel drive right here so four-wheel drive look at this light it says four-wheel drive enabled I don't know I don't I'm not getting a lot of feedback I'm not getting a lot of feedback um, from the steering it's hard to tell let me try a low range. 
I should be able to tell the slower speeds. There, look. I heard the noise. It was shifting or something happened. Yes, it's going slowly. <laughs> the transfer case is working. It's hard for me to tell if the front hubs are engaging, but the low range is working. Uh, I want to look underneath a little bit. Sure. I mean, the drive's okay. What about the brakes? Did you do any service to the brakes recently? Um, no, yeah. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, the rotor looks kind of shiny. It doesn't have any divots in it. The frame has surface rust. This thing's been sitting for a while. But there's very low rust. So, yeah, it's out of my budget. Let me try to make an offer. So yeah, Colorado uh, emissions test, this was the uh, last one. And this one says pass. So like I was trying to explain to you, we're doing a video series on our channel, TFL Truck, uh, where we kind of want to do kind of a trip in the vehicle. And uh, my boss gave me this envelope and it has $2,500. Okay. So that was my offer. Okay. Um, I don't, that works. Would you work with that? Oh yeah. And it's here. So you can count it. Okay. But I have money right now. Okay. Done. Is that a deal? Done deal. Let me get a pen and everything and sign this. Yeah, oh, and okay. we also can you work up a small bill of sale, just to say that, you know, what the vehicle is, the VIN number, and that you're selling as is, yes. and we'll sign it. Okay. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. Great. I'm so happy. <laughs> I mean, I think it's okay. And the wipers don't work. Some of the other things don't work. The front tires are cupped uh, and loud. But I think it's a cool truck. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Here comes Nathan. Now, don't turn around. I want to see if you can tell. Uh, I can't. I'm dying to know. If you can see I, what, what he's driving. I, I literally... This is so difficult because I don't know what Tommy and Nathan maybe, got. Maybe you can... Uh, Maybe you can listen to the engine note. Here he comes. Wait, wait. It's it's got like a turbo. Is it turbocharged? <laughs> it's not turbocharged. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nathan! I, at first I thought that it was an S10. You pulled in and it's a blazer? <laughs> well, I have you know, and this is really important. You're welcome. You're welcome for buying the best possible vehicle Ever, <laughs> ever. No, this is this is really, dude. You bought a Ford. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's a Mazda. He bought a Ford. Look at this B4000. Do you see this? But Nathan, you brought the wrong blazer. If I'm no, 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 no. The VR2 is overrated. It's not overrated. It, it was a lot more expensive. Every single zero two that's out there is like you know this price range. Yeah. Check engine light. You know, and like something's blowing up. This is perfect. No. Did lights. you go over budget? $2,200. How much did you pay? Uh, $2,500. What, ah! what year? 94. What 96. year? How many miles? 182,000. How many miles? 225,000. <laughs> Alright, what's, what's wrong with yours? There's a screw here, like right here, holding the mirror in place. That's it? Uh, do you have four wheel drive? Yep. Do you have air conditioning? Yep. Does it work? Yep. Really? Do Not great, but it works. <laughs> Does yours work? Uh, it's off and on. Mine, wait, wait, mine, wait, wait, wait. mine almost doesn't work. <laughs> almost all the lights work inside. One of the map lights doesn't work. Yes. Um, the brakes are really good. My brakes are squishy. My tires are shot, and, especially and, the rear ones. All right, here's a big question. Any trouble lights? None. You sure? I, I see a little bit of like oil. Is there it? might be a little tiny bit like, <laughs> oh, that's wait. probably from the water from splashing through over there. Already oil? <laughs> is, that, is that oil or water? Let's see. Oh, that's oil, dude. <laughs> well, because I just drove it 50 miles to get here. I mean, come on, there might be a little tiny leak. All right. A little tiny leak. You should look. When I pop the hood, you guys are going to be like, oh. I popped the hood. Maintained by a mechanic. All right. Toronto body 4.3 liter V6, 190 oh. horsepower, 250 pound feet of torque, hooked up to a four speed bulletproof automatic transmission. What's this thing? 
It's a bladder for <laughs> like. It's supposed to be. That is actually stock. <laughs> what is that? Looks like something out of like a. No, it's it's like, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a vacuum. It's a vacuum pump of some sort. What the hell or, was GM doing back in the day? <laughs> oh, well, believe me, vacuum. <laughs> what is this? That's nothing to worry about. I was just checking oil. I, need, I needed to wipe my uh, my hands. After six unsuccessful, <laughs> very unsuccessful attempts at buying the proper vehicle, I think I may have found it. And the best part about this is that it's TFL colors. It's a 1996 Chevy Blazer. Uh, used to be called the S10 Blazer, they got rid of that name, and now it's just the Blazer. So, a proper Blazer, four-wheel drive. It's not the ZR2, but it's well within my price. It's a 4.3 liter V6. These things had a really long history. I mean, they go all the way back to the 70s. I'm gonna listen for some ticking and make sure there's nothing smoking, that type of thing, real quick, and then I'm gonna take it for a ride. Compared to everything else I've seen, this thing is smooth. I'm very happy right now. There's only one minor issue with the gauges, and I'm not really that bothered by it, but it looks like the fuel tank is sending you slightly false readings, and as such, the owner uh, just changed where the empty line is, and I'm completely okay with that. I love the turning radius on these things. You know the wheelbase on this model is really one of the smallest out there for the time, but also if you look at like today's Trailblazer, which is tiny, <laughs> then not much different. So far the steering feels okay. I know the tires are completely knackered, and that's gonna be okay because we're taking care of that later. One thing I'm really happy about is that they didn't bother warming this up in the morning before I got here. A lot of somewhat unscrupulous people who know that their vehicle runs really rough before it's warmed up will warm it up before you get there. And to me, that's not very cool. In this case, they did not do that, which is a very good sign. All right, let's try the four-wheel drive system. Now, later models, I think, went to a push button. Uh, but this one still has a lever actuated one. Uh, so, we're gonna go first to four high. That one you just pull. I believe it's shift on the fly with these models. For at least four high. Four lows different. But first we're gonna try this out. Oh, yep, yeah, feeling the resistance. Let's see if it crabs a little bit. It certainly is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh my god, I think I found a winner. All right, let's try four low. Four low. Should feel the reduction right away. Oh yeah. I mean, it's immediately changed all the, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not smelling anything. I'm trying to kind of use my senses and I am gonna try the air conditioner out so cameraman Alex doesn't boil to death. I think it's either all or nothing and it's kind of backwards the way it's laid out. So that was supposed to be high, but that is high. But it works. I mean, is that cold air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's cold air. And look at this. Uh-huh. That's not totally accurate. It's probably closer to 80, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Once again, I'm really happy that it's there. Seats are not too bad. There is a rip in this seat, um, kind of where the left butt cheek goes, but my butt cheeks are huge, so it doesn't really matter. And look, Alex, you got a stereo with, oh yeah. So I can listen to my obnoxious heavy metal and piss off Roma. This is great. All right, guys, that is a pink slip. That is a 1996 Blazer, and it's all mine. <laughs> I'm really happy about it. This is a really cool find. You don't find many of these out there. Usually people beat the crap out of them or they crash them. In many cases, they rust a lot. This one looks like it's in really good order. It's been driving really good. I am absolutely over the moon. And I'm willing to bet that the guys, the vehicles that they bought, will not be able to compete. All right, boys, so when we did the hell and back, we had a Chevy, yeah. a Ford, yeah. and a Ram. Yes, a Dodge. So now we have a Ford, a Chevy. I wonder what Tommy brought. Oh, it's a motorcycle. It's not a motorcycle. It's what does it feel? What does it sound like? It sounds almost like a Porsche. No, it's not a Porsche. It's right. uh, oh, wait, there's uh, another car in here, boys. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> no.
just going to bring that up a little closer if you can. And the transmission is still there. Aha! So, I thought you bought a Peugeot. I did. Look at it! It's a 1965 Peugeot 404. All right, let's go ahead and check out what I bought here. We've got everything from distributors to carburetors to headers to a head, cooling fan, a new transmission back there. Obviously, I don't have any of the skill it takes to actually get those parts in the car, but let's see if we can get it running at least. Clutch in. Well, look at that. So here's Ted. Ted is the proud owner, well maybe... Owner. Let's <laughs> stick with owner. Owner. Of this Peugeot 404. And not for long. And not for long. It's cool, dude. I'm really digging this. I really think it's cool. I well, know you know, see, so both of us are, because you're just buying it, and I'm just selling it. So right now, we're both having our honeymoon. <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's that interim section where the party's over. Oh, <laughs> but... This was plan B actually, and this is a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee. No way, dude. So what's under the hood, Tommy? This is a 4.7 liter V8, automatic <laughs> transmission. <laughs> what? You got the V8? Yeah, you have the four speed auto. <laughs> yep, automatic, yep. Data 44 does rear the, Does the automatic work? Yes, all four of them. <laughs> okay, do you have four wheel drive? Uh, yes, I do, with the low range, and leather, and heated seats, and cruise control. I have all that, except for leather. Wow. Who how much leather? how much did you pay? Did, are you out of money? I paid twenty five hundred and fifty dollars. Yes. So you went over by fifty bucks. It's a little over. I did cheat a little bit, granted, yes. And it doesn't have clear coat on the hood. Does and it's got a fudge ton of miles. How many miles, Tommy? Two hundred and twenty six thousand. Uh, you one more than mine! <laughs> Victorious! Yep, it's uh it's a little bit tired, but it's got solid axles, as you know. Yeah. What is that? Did you buy I a got fake a Ranger? I've got a Mazda B. <laughs> he bought B4, a Ford, Tommy. You couldn't, 4, you couldn't afford the Ranger? What was the deal there? <laughs> Look at this bumper. He's got a, he's got a custom bumper. <laughs> you got a custom bumper. And yeah. Nathan. Don't don't say it. Nathan, interesting. Yes. See, so you don't want to make it the whole way then. Damn it, I knew it. No, no, no. The Z, <laughs> Look, the ZR2s are more expensive, and that's why I couldn't buy it. So I bought this, which is a really, really good condition baby brother to the ZR2. All right, well, I think, as we did in the last episode, boys, there's only one way to decide, at least initially, who bought the fastest and quickest truck, and that is with a good old-fashioned drag race. So let's just do it in the order that you guys showed up. So, Nathan, you drag race Andre, and then the winner takes on Tommy. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, my, my horn! My, my horn works! Yeah, but my horn sounds more manly than yours. Alright guys, I'm gonna drop the clutch. I When this truck was new, I had 160 horsepower. Oh, I got him at the line! Come on! Come on, Vortec! 4300, baby! Wow, I'll be darned. The actual little Chevy pulled through on that race. That's gonna be the slowest race ever done at this IMI track. But hey, that was still cool to see. Andre, I think, uh, lost some time on the shifting. I think, was it clutch slipping? No, it wasn't slipping. I just, you know, I, I'm trying to be nice for this truck. Of course you are. <laughs> Ah. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Tommy, although his transmission may crater, like, immediately, which would be awesome. Ah, oh, that's a shame. 160 horsepower when it was new, tires that are insanely big and cupped, it's just not a good recipe. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it... It's not a rocket, but it moves. Yeah, it sounds good too, actually. Congratulations. I, I'm really, really happy. And I didn't see any oil or smoke as I was driving. I saw a little smoke. Okay, we saw a little, a little smoke. smoke. Was a little that, smoke. Maybe it was him burning <laughs> his clutch. It was, it was me. just a little smoke. It was a little smoke, okay. It little but uh, it's okay. It's okay? And, the, and, and, and you know, the smell. It's not so bad. Uh, but here's the good news. I get to race Tommy now, and 
his transmission might actually give out. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the weak point of that year of that Jeep. So I could win this whole thing. Did the uh, shifter fall off in your hand, Andre? What happened? Almost did, uh, but you but, can, you can, but here's what I found in my truck. You found that? It's a bat. The uh, what, what is this thing called? The the Punisher. The Punisher. Bat. There's a Punisher. The Punisher bat. You've got a name for your truck. Congratulations. Yes, the Punisher bat. But dude, I I didn't drop the clutch quite as hard as I could have. Yeah. I'm trying to protect this machine, but I still had no power. You, you, you kind of bogged it. You kind of bogged it. Andre. I still had no. <sighs> kind of. Just a okay. little bit. All okay. right, but it's all right. All right. Put the Punisher bat away. <laughs> All right, boys, I think we need to do a walk around of each one. Let's start with you, Tommy. Right, so this is a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee called the WJ, the second generation of Grand Cherokee. Uh, this one is in, um, well, pretty pretty tired condition. Nowadays, these are like $4,000 vehicles, so finding one for $2,500 is pretty tricky, but bam, check that out, 4.7 liter V8 called the PowerTech. I can't believe it. Hey, uh, does the power tech have any uh, check engine lights or anything like that? Well, funny you ask, when I bought it, it did not. Driving it home, it now does. <laughs> so it did, you know, throw some kind of code, but we'll figure it out. What are the numbers on this? Uh, 235 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. And this one has the better transfer case and the better rear diff compared to most WJs. Yeah, that four-speed automatic transmission, right? Uh, well, well Yes. Yeah. Are you leaking any oil or fluids? No. It does smell like bleach, though. Really? So yes. that's an issue. It does smell like bleach, and um, it doesn't have working air conditioning, but it does have leather seats and heated seats and cruise control and automatic headlights, and I'm going to be one comfortable beaver in this thing. Hmm. He said comfortable beaver. Anyway, the point is here, the paint is a little tired, not as bad as Tommy's or yours, actually. So taking that aside, everything pretty much works. Everything. Really? Even your transmission? Yes! But Four speed automatic you're transmission. Still leaking. It's a little tiny oh, bit of oil. Okay. okay, but here's what I'm curious about. Well, your tires are shot, that's that's fine. But uh, does your rear hatch open? You know, it's funny, a lot of these vehicles don't have that issue. No, they, they really do, actually. But no, mine doesn't. Everything here works. So it's like origami. In order to get everything to open, let's see here. You gotta reach over here and pull the handle, which I'm gonna do. Look at that, Tommy. Yep. Fluid. Yeah, Don't yeah. worry about the rust. Yep. That's surface rust. Yep. Mm -hmm. That pops. Electric actuator works. Shocks! Hold it up and they work! Whoa. Yes, I know, right? And a tailgate? Look how clean that is. Did you did you clean this? Can I tell you guys something about buying vehicles this price? Nobody seems to clean them or care. And I actually had somebody living in one of their vehicles sh show me their Andre, vehicle. It, 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 did you smell the side of it? It smells nice. It smells like a Reno strip club is what it smells like. Okay, there's a little bit of cigarette and shame, but it's okay because yeah. that whole thing helps with the ambience. Gotcha. <laughs> and, and since when have you been to a Reno strip club? <laughs> Guys, I did my homework. I ran an auto check report on my truck. It was in Colorado since birth. It's wonderful. It had about four owners. It's gorgeous. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Only four owners. That's all. Um, hey, Andre, so a yeah. couple questions. Andre, uh, Tony, why don't you start them off? Yeah, is this structural? That does not seem to do much. No, it's not structural, but it's cool looking. And yeah, it's, it's missing two bolts. Only missing it two bolts. Doesn't matter. Both Andre, matter. we have to talk about the elephant in the room. What? It's very brown. Uh, well, it's actually losing some paint here. Why is it so brown? It's well, brown on the bumper, it's brown on the hood, it's a it's different brown on the roof. It's got stripes on the side, and guess what? The stripes on the side are brown. Who came up with this combination? Well, well in, in deference to Tommy and, yeah. and all the other young guys over at TFL, it also has acne everywhere. <laughs> Look at what? That. that is, oh, what it, is that sap? So it sat underneath a pine tree for six months. Six years. Uh, and it picked up a lot of sap. I heard alcohol removes this. Well, I'm glad <laughs> to see no one had a knife fight with the headliner. That's oh good to see. Oh my god, look at the headliner, guys. Guys. Oh, that headliner is epic. All right, Andre, making our way down the side okay. here. I did notice the speed nail in the tire. Uh, interesting choice. So I oh, think that's that still belted. I th <laughs> but, but the thing is, I drove it here like this, and it's still here, so it's perfect. <laughs> it's obviously perfect. I'm kind of curious to... Yeah. What? So how much you buy this for? $2,500. Really? Yes. Did you negotiate for the tires? Is that part of the deal? 
Well, it's extra tires. I have spare tires. No, I think you These negotiated really, for really, the tires. Really, bad. Shape. Under, we have to pay to dispose of those tires now. So, in other words, you're what, about 20, 25 bucks a piece? Yeah, so you also paid 25 50 for it. That's how that Congratulations, works. Congratulations, you guys tied on price. You brought... Well, we're, we're here at the IMI Motorsports in Dakota, You're Colorado. not going to leave them here. They, they need extra tires here. I'll just drop them off. You bought a brown fake Ranger is the what you did. Uh, no, no, it gets better. The truck guy forgot to have a proper hitch. Nice. You got this? That's yes. it? Yes. It's already bent. And how do you plug it in? You can't plug it in. He's the, the truck the, guy, folks. The whole point was to go off-road. <laughs> it's not for towing. No, oh, wow. I was hoping that you would save us when we had problems off-road, but it looks like I'll have to be saving you. On the plus side, Andre, for retail, nobody is going to know what it is, so that's good. Yeah, I mean... What do you mean? <laughs> nobody knows what Mazda is so when it comes to trucks. Nathan, how do you feel against the mighty V8 right now? I don't know. It actually depends on a couple things. Quick question, how much does yours weigh? About 100 tons. Okay, so mine's in around, I think, 43 or 4,400 pounds. I think 43. I think I'm about 300 pounds less than you, so I think... It should be fairly even, as long as your transmission does not explode. Come on, Gene. You will not be beaten by that little Chevrolet. I'm beating him. I'm still beating him. Come on, Gene. Come on, Gene. Come on, V8. through a little slow off the launch but I think you got me at the very end I think I got you too but that was way closer than I was hoping that was way closer and by the way when you were stopping those knockoff tires look like they're about to explode they like you're they were like mushed down all the way yeah this is by a company I think called good tire <laughs> That's a great name. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Good work, Nathan. I don't really know what this has to do with an affordable off-road challenge, but people Your like Your dad drag likes racing. drag races. He loves drag racing. That's the bottom line. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not exactly surprised. I was kind of hoping this transmission would give up, but um, it was, that was actually a pretty good race. Um, are we going to do a bunch of these? No. So guys, the question now is for a few bucks less, did you get a little less or a lot less? And there's only one way to figure that out. What is this? We're gonna take each of your vehicles to our man, Toby, who's gonna give them a once over. Ooh. And in the next episode, we're gonna find out just exactly how much less you got right. for a few bucks less. Stay tuned. Next time on For A Few Bucks Less. Now Toby's a real expert with anything with four wheels. And he specializes in German cars, but he works on everything, which is pretty cool, right? Anything. I said that right? All work on a four-wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's some good condition fluid. Uh, that's, you know, what we call uh, someone's butch craft. That's not factory. Oh my gosh, that's a very dangerous. High temperature operation is active. Okay. So it means the transmission probably got too hot at one point. Gotcha. Did they have a squirrel up in the headliner? Oh my god. Oh my. Holy smoker, that's a big oil leak. That's what we call uh, either a big one for a long time or a little one for a long time. Which of the three is best and which is the worst? I would say the best for the price that was spent would have been the...